Hey YouTube, this is Evan Magician 34 I got a whole bunch of decks for you today in case you had noticed by the time I upload this. Um, but this is a really cool deck. This is traditional format. Okay, It only runs five band cards, but it is a traditional format deck, of course. <clears throat> uh, I did run this. Uh, it's incredibly effective at scoring OT, uh, FTKs, actually, which is a first turn kill. Um, really simple, works on premise of Makira the Destructor. Uh, lots of ways to send it to the grave, and once you activate Makira, you can of course activate all your traps from your hand, you run through your deck, and you hit Exchange of the Spirit. It's a basic deck, but earlier I searched YouTube and I didn't find very many uh, builds of this in here for people to find, so if you ever do get to play traditional, um, just for your reference, here's uh, a good spin of the deck. <clears throat> uh, one copy, obviously, of Makira the Destructor. You should know what that does. Three copies of the best way to put him in the grave. Armageddon Knight. Just summon him. Dump my cure and go crazy. Alright, I'm going to be honest about this next one. Uh, I'm showing you the deck as I ran it today. So, I ran Prisma. I was under the impression uh, at the time I built this deck that I could use Prisma's effect to search my deck just like I would for Absolute Zero. Uh, and instead of uh, using Absolute Zero, using UFO Raid Fighter who lists one of his fusion material monsters as any one warrior monster. Um, apparently that's not the ruling, uh, and I was wrong about that, so actually I can't do that. So you might want to pull this guy from the deck, because um, like I said, I was wrong. I thought that's how it was supposed to work, but apparently it doesn't. And those of you liking Absolute Zero right now, um, I guess you can't do that. Good to know. Um, so you might want to call a judge if somebody does that to you, I guess. Um, but anyway, I did run him, so that's what it's for. Um, without him... I mean, you might want to find some other card that can obviously go get the Makura. And if not, there are some other interesting side cards, like you might want to try uh, an extra copy of Magical Mallet is a good choice instead of uh, Prisma. But like I said, this is the deck I ran today, so I feel like showing it to everyone in its entirety and explaining all that. Also, I ran two copies of Brow, Huntsman of Dark World. Uh, the guy, when he's discarded, not sent from the hand, but when he's discarded, you uh, draw a card, and of course, too, if your opponent actually sends it, but it's almost surely going to be you. Uh, you can always go for a third copy of him instead of the Prisma, too. It's a good way to go. And that's the whole monster lineup right there. Next is Rhoda. Obviously, it searches out your Armageddon Knight. Uh, can search your Makura, but it really should just be Armageddon to dump Makura just straight into the grave. Foolish Burial. Also dumps Makura. Painful Choice. Uh, should pick... If Makira is still in your deck, it should pick Makira, and then should, generally speaking, just pick out all the stuff that searches for Makira because you won't need it anymore. Uh, this card is going to get rid of Makira one way or another, so this dumps out all the extra Armageddon Knights and other stuff that you're not going to want or need anymore. Also, the Foolish and the Rota, because they have no purpose once Makira is in the grave. So this gets all that stuff out of your grave and pumps your grave up full of cards, too. So, very useful. And if they send Makira to your hand, you can discard it to other card effects. So it's not a waste if Makira goes to your hand, obviously. Graceful Charity. That should be pretty obvious. Pot agreed. Three copies of Upstar Goblin, because you don't care what your le opponent's life points are in the slightest. So it's just another self-replacing card. A cantrip, as they would call it in Magic. Three Dark World Dealings. A uh, great way to discard the Brownells, of course. And it also... This does put cards into your opponent's graveyard, but there is an answer to that, so don't despair. Basically, just one more way to go through your deck. And speak of the devil, it's Hand Destruction. Uh, this does the same thing. Uh, especially if you're going first, your opponent's going to have two cards in their hand. Um, doesn't hurt that it's a quick play, too. Uh, and you'll find out why in just a second. Uh, the other cool thing about these is, if you activate these before exchanging, keep in mind that even though it will put, in this case, two cards into your opponent's grave, when you activate Exchange of the Spirit, this will go back into your new deck. So every one of these you activated, you'll draw again and force your opponent to draw cards from their deck again for the same number. So really, these uh, don't hurt you. just seems like they do. Card Destruction. Obviously don't activate it if exchanges in your hand. Um, Allure of Darkness. Uh, because those extra copies of Armageddon need to be put to some kind of use. So uh, I am running one copy of Magical Mallet Main. Just cycles through and gets you all those nice plus ones. Uh, plus ones like Reckless Greed and Pot of Greed and so on. And here's the way you get around your opponent going first and dumping cards into their grave or other cards going to their grave. Soul Release. Just need one copy, but the ability to fry up to five cards right before you exchange is tremendous. 
Uh, so Solar Release really is great. You are going to draw pretty much your whole deck in one turn with this, so you only need one Soul Release. Uh, don't need extras. Alright, that brings us to the traps. Exchange of the Spirit. Your win condition. Plain and simple. This goes off, you win. If it doesn't, because something amazing happened, uh, you're going to lose. Real obvious. But it's very hard for your opponent to interfere, actually, because you're going to do all this in one quick turn. Three Reckless Greed. In this deck, it's pretty much just Pot of Greed. Like I said, if you had a Grasu, it's just another self-replacing card. And the same goes for Jar of Greed, so they're pretty much the same old thing. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Uh, just another way to draw cards. Also, uh, if you're looking for an extra card or two for Painful Choice, don't be afraid to pitch an extra copy of Good Goblin Housekeeping if you don't have any in your grave. Because uh, the first one you activate will actually be a minus one anyway. So rather than activate it and lose yet another card from your hand while you're trying to draw into stuff, just discard it to a card effect. Or you can also discard it to uh, Dark World Dealings. You can also discard it to Hand Destruction, stuff like that. Um, so if you don't have one in your grave, pitch that first one into the grave to pay for another card. And that way the first one you actually activate will pay for itself. Here's one, just one copy of this, but it's really good. And it's why all those chainable cards are nice. Accumulated Fortune because you can activate and chain out of your hand, even with Macura, so you can go something like uh, Dark World Dealings, Chain Jar Greed, Chain Reckless Greed, Chain Accumulated Fortune. So, And last but not least, um, now yeah, I'll just let you read the rulings on this card, but appropriate, it's very good, and it's just a long string of Pot of Greeds to make sure you draw what you need. Uh, but more than one would almost surely deck you out, so one is just fine. And the only other card I might suggest, this is not in the main deck, that is the main deck, but this is another card for your consideration, is Transmigration Prophecy, and it's a must-have side deck card if you don't main deck it. Um, in case your opponent has something that negates, or they go first that turn or whatever, if they stop that exchange, this allows you to stuff it back into your deck and redraw it. So, definitely a must-have. It can also allow you to reuse Soul Release if needs be. So, if you don't want to main deck it in your variant, uh, definitely, definitely side deck it. So, anyway, that, that is the deck, and the Mighty Makura FTK. So there you go, and until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.